What's good, good people? I'm the Mad Prince, and today I want to talk about male and female interactions. Now, I've noticed in my observation of male and female interaction, the female always has her guard up when it comes to new interactions with new males. Now, this might be a problem to new males because he's wondering why your defense is so damn strong. I'm going to explain to dudes in short words and long sentences why their defense is so damn strong. Number one reason is the way women see us in society's eyes because the way society paints us. African American males I'm speaking about specifically. Males who look like me. The reason that they look at us like this is because society paints us in a way where we're always the villain. We're always the crimey. We're always the drug dealer. We're always the cheater. We got bitches, the unfaithful. Ah, ah. Society never really paints us in a proper manner. Like, you don't know what you're going to get until you approach a dude. He might be a faithful dude. He might be an even killed dude. He might have a job and do what he's supposed to do and be a straight and narrow dude. If you can find that nigga, call me because I don't think those niggas exist either. But there's, a, there's guys who try to walk that fine line who, you know, who know they have to have a certain part of their life correct before they can proceed in life properly. Most women don't think guys think like that. They're like, all they want to do is fuck, 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 fuck. That's all they want to do is fuck, fucking cheat. It's like, if you go into that thinking like that, then yeah, you're going to get a fucked up nigga because that's what your energy is bringing in. And that's what your energy is putting forth. Scavenger niggas see that and be like, oh, she's vulnerable. I got to do a smile and be faithful for a couple of weeks and I can get the pussy. That's what some dumb niggas think. When you get a proper dude who approaches you with that proper approach, excuse me for using the same word to explain Y'all always are weary of him. Why is he being nice? Why is he being proper? I'm not saying y'all say this outwardly with y'all facial expressions and give that over. When we speak to you, when we take a nice approach, like, hello, my name is, you will get a quick defense. Or sometimes you might get, hello, my name is, back. Rare. Rare. It's always a why is he talking to me type of defense. One reason we might be talking to you is because you're attractive. You look nice. You might not think you look nice, but we see something in you that we're attracted to. If you think it's your ass and stop showing it, nine times out of ten it's usually like a smile or something in your eyes or just the way you carry yourself as a woman that might be attractive to a dude even if you're wearing sweatpants and that nasty ass scarf y'all fried chicken in. What men want to know is why the defense is so strong. It's because they don't want you to be hurt like they, like they were in the last relationship. Seven times out of ten, in my opinion, I feel like women have their guard up because the last nigga did some dumb shit. He either was abusive or a cheater. So that leaves deep scars. Now the next dude got to deal with that. What I want to say as a dude who is newly approaching relationships, it's like, stop doing that to us. We not the last dude. We didn't do nothing. I said that in my last video, so I'm not going to repeat it. Dudes, how you deal with that is like a non-aggressive approach. You just fall back. When you fall back, they're going to wonder why you're falling back. Nine times out of ten, they're going to think you had another bitch. But the real reason is, is they're being too aggressive and you taking shit that you didn't do. So you like wondering why. I was like, yo, I don't got to take this shit. I can be by myself. And like, ah, and chill. Instead of being under all the stress in, this, in a totally new situation. <sighs> to my main point, we didn't do it in the sense of we was the last guy to do it. But when they see us, they see remnants of the last two because most dudes are similar in what they like and what they want. It's like they're waiting for us to fuck up. They're waiting for us to be unfaithful. They're waiting for us to show signs of unfaithfulness. And it's like, we don't know why you're waiting on that because this is a totally new relationship. Some men go into it looking like, damn, maybe I fucked up in my last relationship. Let me try some new shit. Some men go into it like, damn, I hope I don't fuck up because you can, the lightest thing you do, you can fuck up with a woman. It's like a sense that it's like walking in a landfill. Now, what I'm going to get back is not all women It's like that. Yes, y'all are all like that. I'm saying it right now, looking you dead in your face. Y'all all are like that. Y'all are waiting for us to fuck up or show signs of unfaithfulness. Y'all all do it. Stop lying. Anyway. Now, fellas, I don't even know how you deal with that because it's annoying to me. When I see it, it's like, why are you doing that? Oh, because my last nigga, he was I, 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 and this, this, and that. And it's like, he didn't even know about that. Why are you doing that to that nigga for? He's sitting there with the stupid face like, I don't know. What? And you're looking at him like, how you looking at me like that? Because you're talking to him like he's the last nigga. Psycho. Rewind that, bring that shit out, smoke it, blow it out. Let that shit out your system and stop fucking up all the time by being totally aggressive to a nigga who didn't do anything to you yet. He's not going to fuck up. Let's go into it looking like that. But you not. You're going to go into it looking at him like, well, he and his phone too much. What if he's a dude like me? 
who does videos on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. You gotta edit his videos, gotta look at messages, you gotta read emails, his phone's gonna be in his hand a lot. Get that nigga a break, bro. Stop giving the shit. It's hard enough out here being a black man in America and gotta deal with everybody else's stereotype to come home to my black female and be stereotyped and she don't even know she's stereotyping me. <sighs> I guess what I'm trying to say is the communication between African American male and African American female is really difficult because nine times out of ten that African American female been through some shit. It be like that. I also hear this thing from women. I got an attitude so if you talk to me you gonna have to deal with my attitude because I'm not changing for nothing. And in that same fucking breath, we'll tell a dude 18 things he needs to change about himself. Listen to yourself. Listen to how fucking ridiculous that sounds. You're not changing anything and aren't willing to change anything, but you're making demands on what he needs to change? You sound fucking stupid. I'm here to tell you as a dude. This is what my commentary is about. It's saying shit that dudes can't say because they're fucking afraid of you because they're afraid of your response. I don't give a fuck. I'm not afraid of your response. You can't do shit to me anyway. My thing is, if you know you have a bad attitude, why don't you tweak and adjust some things about that bad attitude, and then maybe you can get along with another person who doesn't have a bad attitude, or understanding why he's getting a bad attitude from you for nothing. Y'all don't make it easy for us women. And you shouldn't, but at the same time, you shouldn't make it very difficult because it's not a video game, it's just life. Other things in life are very difficult, and you stressing us out in a relationship, but life is stressing us out, that doesn't make for a happy dude, or a happy relationship, or a happy person, period. Think about those things. Stop waiting for us to play games. Stop waiting for us to fuck up. Stop waiting for us to show signs of distrust. And just trust us. Not blindly. With a faraway eye. Not an up-close aggressive, you better not be doing this eye. But a laid-back, observe shit from a distance eye. Because you can see more shit back here than you can see shit all the way up here. If you want to see more of my shenanigans, hit me up on Instagram at Why You Mad Prince. Follow me on Facebook at The Mad Prince Eric Bernard. Subscribe to me on YouTube at The Mad Prince Eric Bernard. I'm The Mad Prince. Be classy, Brownsville.